They're super thick. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and today I got a premium bootleg box of Demon Slayer cards to shrip them. I've had some pretty hot bootleg cards on this channel lately. I don't know if you guys have seen any of these bootleg shrip ems, but they are very nice. And these are the premium bootleg shrip ems, which means we're talking about top tier bootleg quality. If you guys want to get bootleg cards, you can find them on AliExpress. Don't buy them on eBay, they're way overpriced. Also, I got my bootleg Demon Slayer shirt. Shout out to Simon K. Bell. If you guys are thinking about getting an anime tattoo, you got to get it done by Simon K. Bell. He is the best in the game. Anyway, if you guys like shrip and you want to see premium bootleg shrip and real shrip make sure to smush that subscription button. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, I think you're really going to like these cards because they look really good. And you know they're premium because there's only three cards in a pack and they're super thick. All right, let's get into this thing. So this is the box here. You can see it's got premium box art it's shiny it's embossed this is this is the premium bootleg box edition it's got this chad 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 ka slayer kimetsu no yaiba x chad ka Kao, maybe actually that says that maybe that might not say chad drip him knife here dragon's knife scorn to slice and slice the chad slice it right in the chad and let's trip him these things so um yeah, I'm pretty sure. Wow, look at this. Look at that premium. That is that is so premium. Ooh, yeah, premium. Nice premium. Let's get a let's get these packs out of here. And let's get a bless them. I'm gonna I'm gonna bless them this pack here. Oh, Demon Slayer premium pack have bless them. Good shrip them behold inside you. This is not really much of a shrip them up. Oh, that's rough. It's not not ideal, but still openable. And I'm pretty sure this is the back of the cards. Nice back. They are pointed corners, which I don't, I'm not, I'm not a fan of pointed corners and the edges look like they could get pretty messed up pretty easily, but ooh, yeah, these are some good looking cards. They're all textured, I think. All textured and foiled. I think the lowest rarity we're gonna see is an SSR. Wow, oh my, oh my. This is really, really good. Look at how dang textury and shiny these are. These are fantastic. Oh, Tanjiro SSR. This art is hot. Very nice. Wow. Oh, yeah. It is so textured. The water looks so good. And these are all just SSRs. You just get three SSRs in this pack. They are pretty chunky. I gotta, I gotta give them that where it's due. But, you know, I, I think for things like these, you don't even sleeve them. You just put them right into your display binder so you can look at them and appreciate how gorgeous and shiny they are because they'll be extra shiny without even putting a sleeve on there. Just slide it in and get your uh, custom binders at Inked Gaming. There's a link in the description below to save yourself 10% with my unique code. But yeah, I got to say that the packs aren't as easily shrippable. The shrip em nub doesn't really extend, but they are like extra foily you see like the even the pack has like this shiny foilness going on all right here we got oh this man i think he's one of the uh upper moons i can't remember his name yes she's warning uh thankfully thankfully tengen did not take her and took the other boys and wow whoa, look at that ssr wow very very nice that is it's so shiny there's so many different kind of textures that they added to this background and wow what a gorgeous card this really uh these bootleg cards are they're really premium what else do we got here in these premium shrippums premium shrippum cardo extravaganza i think that's the best way to open these things i really i really don't know all right that's oh i like this this is really good I mean, even just these cards that these are basically like the comments. I mean, they say SSR, but they still look really good. And oh, yeah, <laughs> the Chibi Inosuke, you are very good. What's he got there? Is that a paddle or a paintbrush or some sort of is he making music? Are those musical instruments? Is that when he's in the uh, whatever's going on there? Also, this is really good. This is really great looking cute card. 
You can see his hat, his his uh his boar head hat mask. It's a hat today, not as much of a mask for his to see if we can get these shrimps to go any better. I feel like since they're like square corners, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna damage the corner every time I open it. I don't know if there's a much better way. Oh yeah, Zenitsu looking like he's taking a nap, so you better look out. This man is serious when he's napping. Very, very good stuff. And wow, the Rengoku before the moment of truth. Holy hexagon. Ah, what a feeling. What a guy. He's so, such a legend. Doesn't let anybody die. He does his job. And Tengen, oh my yo, God, yeah, flashy style, the flashiest of flashies. This is what it's like to be flashy. Welcome to the flashy world. Yes, I am the god of the festivals. Nice to meet you. Would you like to see my flashy style? This is cool. I like whatever the heck this thing is. It's very shiny. We're talking about premium shrimps here. I'm saying, you know, this is top tier premium, ultimate premium. I think, I really think that's, ooh, this is. This back of this looks different. So maybe this is gonna be some kind of a different kind of rarity. This is definitely a different back of a card than we've seen. Um, not too exciting. Oh, it's kind of cute. And oh, whoa, what the heck? This is just like hyper golden. So golden, Rengoku and his crow. Wow, wow. It's hard to even show what this really looks like here. It is absolutely wild wow what a gorgeous piece of shiny cardboard got this special backing to let you know this is a shiny special shiny card don't forget it crack them these shrimps are definitely a different very different approach. They're pretty thick packs. Thick packs and thick cards as well. I've seen this a couple times. Oh yeah, Cutie Zenitsu, the UR, chasing after his little sparrow. I remember everybody gets a sparrow and he, or everybody gets a crow and he gets like a little sparrow. What's up with that? So it's just like a joke about him? All right, another one of these delicate crackums. It seems to be the technique that's working for me best is to break it there and then rip it. Oh wow, this is really good. The face off. We've got two angry boys that are dis discussing something very in a very heated moment. Rengoku looking uh, stoic and looking uh, firm and as if he's really believing in himself. And oh yeah, look at this cute Tanjiro card. Tanjiro drinking some tea. Do you like some ucha? Thank you so much. Yes, please. But look at this like beautiful texturing in the background. It looks so good. They, they did such an amazing job printing these. I, I hope that some of these printing techniques are adopted in some of the upcoming card games we're excited to see because I mean they sell these boxes these boxes are like 20 but wow I got a full strip of them I haven't had that happen before better be a good good card in here oh no we've seen both of these and yo that's sick what oh yeah this is from the end of the ep one of those episodes when they have the ho the uh, Christmas party where Zenitsu invites Nezuko for the Christmas party and everybody shows up this must be what Rengoku brought to play at the Christmas party I don't know if actually was actually in that one, but that seems like what this would be. This is too weird. I love this. And I have no idea where to check if there's like a list of the different cards in here or something or some sort of registry. There's no real way to know, you know, what all the different cards are. So it makes you really feel, <laughs> whoa, that's so good. <laughs> wow, what a moment. But I gotta say the, the printing on the characters is a little not perfect. It's a little blurry. It looks good. I mean, it doesn't look bad. If you look at it really up close, you can kind of start to see that, that it's a lower quality printing, but the rest of the card just looks so good. They make it, wow, that's so good. <laughs> oh, wow. What a moment. Yeah. I feel like when this happens, everybody's just like, okay, I hate this guy. And Tengen is, is a jerk. Nobody likes him. But then, you know, you really grow to appreciate his character over time as with most Hashiras. Whoa, yo, this is sick. This is the hot pull. This is really, really good. I love this card, man. I'm going to have to redecorate my whole binder page now because I pulled this. This changes everything. This changes everything. Look at the Rengoku's eye flash. You can see that it's like shiny inside his pupil. It's, it's so good. So good. What is this? What is this holographic amazingness going on over here? Is that the chain between his swords? Oh man, so good. This card is so dang good. It doesn't even have a crazy back. It's just a regular, it's a regular extra more rare card that you find at the back of the pack. And I love this one also. It's just such a good pack. Fire pulls. What else you got here? Need premium. Premium. Ah, oh, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad premium. Whoa, 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 whoa. The back of this looks premier. 
This looks like a premier premium extra high quality. I'm excited to see what that's gonna be. Okay, we've seen this guy. We've seen this dude and we haven't seen. Oh, what is this? This is a very interesting, different kind of thing. Whoa, look at that. It's got like a wave foil over it. I haven't seen that yet. It doesn't look like it's very textured, but I mean, when they're all, oh, there's a little bit of texture in the corner there. When they're also textured, you see a wave foil like this, it really kind of stands out, I guess. I don't remember that demon there. It looks, looks almost like one of the characters from uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, the guy that's like, that he fights in that place where the mother's son is dead. I don't remember the details, but I don't recall this dude. Maybe he's in the manga somewhere. I don't know. But it's got a couple Hashiras on here and some Demon Slayer cores. And I think that's the guy that makes Tanjiro's sword. What a character. But I, I really like the back, actually. The back of this card is really sick. Very cool looking. All right, we're still here on the Shrifm Adventure. How how much can we hone the Shrifm skill of these packs? They're very thick. Uh, not bad. I mean, once it's here, then it's easy to just do that. Pretty blue. I wonder if this is going to be some kind of crazy cool card also. Oh, Nezuko. Finally, got a nice Nezuko card. And, oh, handsome for a man. Look at this guy. Look of trust and love on his face. He believes he believes in the power of the universe. Whoa, yeah! Rengoku bringing some holiday goodies, showing up to the party. Thanks for the invite, guys. I was wondering if you wanted some of these tasty snacks that I bought from this lady that was about to get killed by a demon but saved her life and instead just bought all of her snacks. I think that's pretty much what's going on here. Wow, how cool is that? So shiny and beautiful. You are. Getting into these cracking and popping and stripping adventures. That was kind of a little fun. No, same deal. I wonder if it's blue on the back, if that means it's going to be a UR, because that's what we just pulled. And it's okay, looking very beautiful. And one of the uh, ladies in the entertainment district. And wow, the Tanjiro Chibi UR. I don't know how I feel about his face in this one. This is kind of weird. But he's got his training gi on, or training kimono, for when he's uh, training under Uadaki. And his face looks very uh, smushed. I guess that makes you look more like a baby when you have a smushed face, but uh, yeah, it could be cute, I guess. Maybe that's the point of these these URs is they're trying to make the characters, some of the characters look cute. Not my favorite card, but it'll definitely go on display. Maybe somebody looking at my book will say, wow, I love that card so much. And I'll say, yeah, it's all right. Oh, it's pretty lame. Yeah, I like this one. We already pulled this one. That looks good. Oh, nice! Yo, I have another Tengen. I think, did we pull this Tengen already? Or So this is the one that we pulled. Uh, so it's different. Similar, but slightly different. He's looking down in this one, and he's got some sort of stuff going on in the background. The texture in the background is also different. This one has, like, the ninja stars, and this one is some sort of triangle square sort of thing. But this looks cool. They both look cool. They'll look good near each other in a book. Juxtaposition. I like this one better, actually. Three more packs to strip them. Oh, that's including the Blossom. I wonder what's in the Blossom. I think we pulled the, the rarest card, though. That was that one that had the really different back. That was just, oh, that's nice. It's Nezuko, when she's a human. Oh, and, nice! Wow, the SSR Zenitsu at the Orca. He's here. He's playing a wind instrument of some sort. What is that? Is that an instrument? Or is he the conductor? Is Zenitsu the conductor? Yes, he is here to conduct the show so everybody can enjoy this wonderful musical experience. What a legend. All right, let's crack him this thing and shrip him. That was pretty good, pretty good. Pretty nice extended shrip him session. And Inosuke, I don't think we pulled this one. This looks pretty good. And Rengoku, I think we have seen this guy. And wow, <laughs> a golden SSR Rengoku inviting you to come along the Mugen train. What a beautiful card. Wow, it's so shiny. It's so golden and shiny and reflective and textured and premium. It's really premium stuff. Of course, we have our Blessum. This is the premium Blessum. Oh, Blessum premium. Have the Shrippum gold within your Shrippum bones. This looks like the normal back. I don't know if you can tell anything about the rarity from the back of the cards. Oh yeah, look, there's Rengoku's Peepaw looking pissed. He's like, ah, oh, my son's a crook. But then he, you know, he comes around. So you gotta give him credit where credit's due. Wow, this is really good. 
I love these moments where they just look like very uh, uh, simple, childish, like stupid kind of animation in the animation. It's really fun to see. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so this is the same card, but it's just, this one was totally gold foiled out, and this one is the regular art you can see. Very cool. That would be cool to put these near each other so you can kind of see the difference between. Very, very fun. Yeah. Well, that was the premium bootleg shrip them. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these premium cards get stripped. I think they're gorgeous. I'm gonna get a lot more of this stuff to shrip them. So I'm gonna have lots more content for the channel with all different kinds of premium shrip ums with these gorgeous textured cards. I love looking at them. I hope you guys will come back and check them out. You know, consider smushing that sub bell and the little ding dong bell so you know whenever I make videos. And I am a dentist. I can't end without doing a dental tooth tip. Water picking isn't really a replacement for flossing, but I do recommend water picking if you can. It's kind of a pain because it makes a mess. Water falls out of your mouth. It gets all over the mirror. It's kind of difficult to clean the thing. Um, so I would actually recommend getting a shower flosser, which you can find on Amazon. They're like 30 bucks and you just interface it between the shower head and the faucet in your shower. And then whenever you're in the shower, you just turn it on, put the head on it, and then go ahead and water pick through your teeth. And it's a great way to keep things clean. I've actually had two areas where I've had discomfort for almost five or six years. And I just started water flossing in combination with flossing and brushing, obviously. And it's been really helping those areas uh, not feel uncomfortable. I'm Joku DMD. I hope you enjoyed this premium bootleg shrip em, and I'll see you guys next time. Petras, you like my bandana? Pretty popular. You like it? Leave comments, tell me what you think.